<laughs> and people said that thing. Well, I had a couple people say, look, that thing looks tippy. It ain't going nowhere unless you want it to go somewhere. See all that red oak in it right there? Oh, figured out what was wrong with this thing. It had two issues. The uh, kill switch up there on the handlebar. It needs a new one up there on it. It's got, uh, it's got something that's going, killing it right there, keeping it from cranking. And then also the choke. It needs a new choke. This piece right here is broke and it's also broke down below right above that metal collar right there too so i've got it out to where it'll work so that was all that was wrong with that thing right there he's got to get a choke a choke and a new switch for it all right the saw class this is going to be an update video uh what all went on and stuff like that you are going to see a few clips from the saw class this is the remnants of it what uh all the chunks cookies chairs boring everything some of it rolled off over here but just we cut a ton of wood up saturday a bunch of it up so i ended up with uh, six people for the saw class and all six of them said that they would definitely come back to sign them up if i have another one so if I do a 10 slot class, that only leaves four slots available to do it. So uh, I am going to do another saw class. It'll be probably in March. Could possibly be February. I just got to think about it a little bit. Look at all the uh, sawdust on the ground here. Looks like snow over here, man. Sawdust everywhere. This is where we run a 3120 in some dry red oak right there, cutting. That saw is like, that saw is a tank. I never run a 3120, but that saw is a tank, and uh, it wasn't as heavy feeling as I thought it would be running. I wouldn't want to run one a long time, but but uh, it wasn't bad. You're gonna see a dedicated video just to the 3120. But you see the salt, salt chips are everywhere, man. They're here. This over here got, got really deep right there. I didn't throw that one on there. But, uh, we went ahead and cleaned up all the cookies and all that stuff and got them up there on the, on the, on the pile. So it was a good class. That's the first per se saw class that i have ever taught myself and uh led and done and everything and i taught them how to how to sharpen we talked about bars and and the tips of bars and how to use the tips of the bars i had a bar painted in there that i used for uh illustration to show what i was talking about and the uh we did several uh exercises with the saw we was in the shop there uh for probably about two hours we talked about safety to start with and uh saw chats and all that stuff like that and some of my do's and don'ts what i wanted to make sure i seen and not seen and uh then we came out here before lunch and we started running saws and we ran saws from well before lunch till actually after three o'clock there's no telling how much uh saw gas that uh, we we burned up we had over 20 different saws that you could run and uh so we had plenty of saws here on hand to uh to play with and this was for anybody who had ever even run a saw before so you could come and uh experience it had uh had one person here that ran a saw who had never ran a saw before ever and uh and then had a couple others who didn't have a uh, very much saw experience at all and so uh i saw the importance of doing this right here making somebody feel comfortable and 
handling a saw and uh and running it and especially using a tip on one because nobody's going to show you how to uh how to use a tip properly and uh where the saw don't uh, kick back at you and a saw is a uh, very 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 dangerous tool maybe even one of the most dangerous tools that you can use and and mess with to do a task with but it can be used very safely under the right instruction and i seen that this weekend there is a need to do what what i did here and so i'm gonna do like i said i'm gonna do it again i am probably gonna do a more advanced class too an actual felling class and i got some things that uh that i have to work on on my end to uh, be able to make that happen and uh but there are felling classes out there or at least it used to be where you could go and learn how to how to fail i'm not sure i hadn't i'm really not keeping up with it like i used to but so i'm gonna kind of progress on with uh with that and uh and we'll go on i enjoy teaching i enjoy sharing what i know with a chainsaw and uh so it's fun to for me to do that it's a lot of fun to uh to do that and if i can keep somebody make them safer and uh, keep them from getting hurt or injured or anything like that for what the saw class uh, cost that's way cheaper than going and getting stitched up or having something happen or anything like that so i will uh i will make up my mind here pretty quick between now and Thanksgiving, uh, what I'm going to do in the dates and all that stuff to where you can go ahead and be pretty planning. I kind of did a spur of the moment kind of deal on this one here where it wasn't but a uh, month and a half out or anything. That was kind of by design because I wasn't, I was not sure what it was going to, uh, how it was going to be and how it was going to go and, and all that good stuff. But it went very well. So, uh, Appreciate all y'all watching. A little update on the day in the woods, too. Uh, Kevin is broke down currently. Uh, we had trouble with uh, injectors in his engine again. His engine has a tier two engine in it. And it's got the injectors that they just push in and have the keeper on them. And all of them injectors had a couple of them come loose again. And so we went to swap them all out Friday. Uh, I think two of them were stuck. Uh, mechanic was doing it, Strilling Mechanic was doing it. They ended up having to pull the head off the crazy thing Saturday to get the injectors out. And then he's got a massive engine oil leak under the valve cover. We got, we did get Kevin's machine moved. I'm fixing to leave and head up there in just a second. Got him moved. Uh, Strilling's got to come back today, I'll swap that gasket or whatever they got to do to it. They're probably doing it right now, too, I imagine. I'm gonna get this video uploaded so, uh, so we're. We're kind of down right now until we get Kevin going on a new job. So appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.